From the art of silence, a new vocal star rises. Krasimir is one of Bulgaria's most popular celebrities. A great singer with a top 10 album, a famous mime artist, an outspoken cultural advocate. Papara was recorded and produced by William Tabanu. When I first heard Krasimir's voice, I was just blown away. I heard the music within the five minutes after I met Krasimir and I was absolutely amazed how different his music was, how different his voice was. I, I had the itch, I had to go with it, so I called him and I was like, let's do something. Krasimir and Tabanu recorded the album primarily at Jam Studios in West Hollywood. They spent countless hours experimenting with various arrangements and compositional elements until perfection was achieved. Popper is kind of more updated, more unique sound of pop and opera, kind of little worldly sound, new agey. creating the music right in that moment in the studio. Everything is created in the moment for the most part. It was just amazing to work with somebody that has such an incredible voice and a presence and someone that I really believe is gonna be a very successful star in the United States. It was very unique. I do a lot of session work, but coming into this kind of sound was a challenge and also a lot of fun. The result, an incomparable record fusing European pop and contemporary symphonic sound with soaring melodies, poetic lyrics, and Krasimir's unique original voice. Papra is, is a different album. It's, it's got something different to offer. It's, it's original. Krasimir, he's an international recording artist and his newest album is called Popera and he is here right now with a little sample. Krasimir's star began rising in his homeland at the early age of nine. As a young mime, he became well-known in performance circles throughout Bulgaria and Eastern Europe as a master of conveying ideas through body language. He took lessons with the great opera prima and vocal coach, Panka Gekova. For me, this is a very phenomenal voice with a very large diapason. Gekova inspired him and taught him to master his newfound talent. His first album, Silent Voices, 1998, was a Bulgarian top 10 hit. In, in the first album, Silent Voices, I remember, I mean, just I, I was searching in different styles of pop and opera and rapping and reggae and jazz. And it, it was fun in that time, but it, it wasn't enough for me. I wasn't satisfied. He performed extensively in some of the most prestigious venues in Europe, mesmerizing audiences with an impressive stage shows and his unique, one-of-a-kind voice. It's an undeniable experience. It's something that you have never seen before. When I first saw his uh, concerts in Bulgaria online, I was, I was like, wow, <laughs> this, is, this is cool. This is exactly what I'd like to be a part of. As record sales soared and critics applauded, Krasimir was ready to move on to the next challenge. 